welcome back to the channel if you are new here welcome to the channel so in this video what you're going to see Aaron ex-girlfriend going to expose him so for those of you who may not know who he is so not too long ago he went on one of those dating show find pop the balloon of fine love so the video went viral and a lot of people mad about this video because of the way he was talking to the girl so according to him 500 people called all his job and now he's jobless so we're going to see what his ex going to say and also comment down below what you think about it let's get into it all right now that we opened the can of worms let's go ahead and talk about part one of watch who the fuck you date so his name is aaron aaron is my ex we dated for a few months and it didn't last very long and let me tell you why he is like insane it's like he has that little person talking to him in the corner of his shoulder at all times like he's making up constant stories in his head about like that i'm cheating on him that he's got to watch his back that i have guys in my apartment at all times and that i'm cheating while i'm at work when i work in a clinic full of women by the way that doesn't mean anything just because you are working with women it doesn't mean that it's impossible for you to go cheat if you if if you want to let's keep listening well let's take it back to to the beginning so again we met i lived in arizona he lived in new mexico and he said oh i have a friend that lives in arizona i was actually just there i was like oh dang well whenever you're down here again let's grab dinner or whatever he's like all right he ended up coming and his plan was to end up moving to arizona anyway with his friend right he ended up at my house so much anyway that i was just kind of like mm, i mean you kind of already live here his clothes was there everything so i was like fuck it just you know that was my mistake so uh, my mom ends up making dinners for us all the time we're mexican we make huge dinners and the first time he went he met the family and everything was cool but when we left my mom called me she said are you okay and i said what do you mean am i okay she said well i see something in his eye like he wants to hurt you or like he wants to control you i don't know how to tell you because i don't want you to think that i'm crazy but i'm just telling you to be careful and really think about if this is the guy that you really want to be with and i was like well I'm, i mean it kind of is already in motion you know it's already happening so then my mom invites us over for dinner again i think it was the next day and we play loteria and um i guess he was just like no i don't want to go like he he started little by little kind of not not like not wanting to be around my family and i don't know if he noticed that my family didn't really like approve of him or whatever i'm not too sure but anyways that was a red flag number one it's kind of like he was already trying to distant me from my own family you know like the only protection that i have had is from my family and he was trying to move me away why are you trying to date somebody that you know this person you are not safe around that person why did you choose to date that person this doesn't make sense something is missing but let's keep listening so when I first started talking to him, I was talking to other people as and I had a lot of guy friends and I don't hang out with too many girls because sometimes it can get overwhelming and a lot of drama can start. So they would still text my phone. And um, of course, I talked to somebody else before I met him, too. It kind of just ended up going in the direction with Aaron. She doesn't have many female friends. Most of her friends are male friends. So she really think he's going to be okay with that she has so many male friends so you don't think he's gonna think that why do you have so many male friends why you don't have any female female friends this is a red flag but let's keep listening and so they would text my phone and he would check my phone every few hours every time a vibration would go off every time i'd get a notification he's looking at me like he wants to like literally do something to me i don't know what was going on it's just that look in his eyes and you guys know because you have seen that look in the okay this is right this is kind of creepy so every time something or your, your phone make a sound you want it to see what who takes it you or what is going on so i don't know anything about any of them but she probably have done something and now he probably cannot just say anymore that's just my opinion what do you guys think the pop the balloon game like this video that went viral 
So um, he starts checking my phone every few hours. He starts to track my location. I gave him my location on my phone because I was like, I have nothing to hide, right? And I'm always either at work with him at home or with my family. Okay, so before we start listening to part two, why she waited this long to come out with this story? I'm not saying what she's saying is not true, but why she waited this long? Welcome back to part two of Watch Who You Date. We're talking about Aaron, the guy that went viral on pop the balloon game so anyways he starts to distance me from my family he starts to track me i give him my location because i had nothing to hide every time i would walk by the window my, my location would show that i was outside and it, this is kind of weird to me whenever somebody says i don't have nothing to hide there's a possibility that person probably hiding something but let's keep listening so he'd call me like what are you doing outside who are you messing with that work why aren't you working like that controlling right then he starts doing pop-ups at my job and it got so bad because he would show up in his work truck while he's supposed to be at work at my job that my supervisor had to keep watching me we had to basically like everybody had to walk me to my car after work to make sure that i made it and the girls would text me hey did you make it again it's a clinic full of girls so that was a red flag number two okay this is weird if that's something that he was doing. This, this is extremely weird. What would you do? Why would you do something like that? You're in a relationship with somebody, but you got to watch everything that they do. This is weird. But let's keep listening. And then one time I walked outside to the cafeteria and he calls me and he's like, how did I know you were outside? So that in my head was like, mm, circles are already turning. I go to my car to see if he put a tracker because he is capable of doing some shit like that. And I couldn't find anything. And then he pops up at my job like, don't break up with me. Don't do this. Like, I'll change. I thought I was going to catch you doing something. And I was like, how did you know I was outside, right? He's this is weird. Why are doing all this stuff? If you have to do all this thing, you know, you are in a relationship with somebody, you have to do all this extra thing. I don't think this person is for you. He said, I put my extra phone tracking you in your car and I left it on record because I was expecting to record you doing something as in cheating on me or like messing around in your car. And I was like, I was done. After that, I was completely done. I said, get your stuff, get out of my house and come bring me my key. And he was like, no, I'm going to change whatever. I went, went home. He was still there. He was like, let's try to work it out. I was like, mm okay why would you move in with somebody that you just started dating according to her according to her they've been dating for a couple months why why move in with somebody like with somebody so early even if there was nothing wrong with the person the person was not acting with why moving in so early i think a couple months is so early and then there's another thing erin have to do all this extra stuff putting her phone so she can so he can see what she's doing. If a person wanna wanna mess around, whether you want, whether you have a tracking device or whatever that you have, mind see everything that they do. You fooling yourself because if they wanna mess around, no matter what you do, no matter no matter how often you track their location, you're looking at the look at their location. If they want to do something, they will do it. Just because she has her location on, that doesn't mean if she wants to do something. She's not gonna she's not going to do it but let's keep listening you know he already lives with me he moved here like whatever and that and then it was going i was going to do it so bad and then i he went to go get coffee for me or something from starbucks and he was like something's wrong with your car and i was like what do you mean something's wrong with my car he's like yeah it started to act weird and i was like okay hold on right there my car, I have a 2019 Dodge Challenger. It's been perfectly fine. I kept up with the oil. I don't understand. All of a sudden, you're driving it and something's wrong with it. I'm not saying why he did was right, but something is not adding up. The part that I'm going to post about Aaron, the buff guy from Pop the Balloon Game, and watch who the fuck you date. So um, he was like, yeah, your car's acting funny. I was like, no. At that point, I was like, I already get out of my house. Like, I don't want you here. You ain't paid one bill. You put $20 a light one time. And maybe you spent like $30 on groceries because I was going to 
cook dinner one time, but my mama always told me, do not allow a man to come into your home and pay any bills because then he's going to feel like he has the right to either stay there or like, oh, I paid the rent. I live here too. But in our reality, everything that I, that I had gotten was mine and I didn't allow him any part of that. Don't ever move in with a woman. It should be the other way around. Let her move in with you. Now you're moving with her, right? So now let's say she is my daughter. What exactly do you think going to happen? You're going to tell you pack your shit and get out because your name is not on the list she she has the right to kick you out at any time so please do not move in with a woman let her move in with you instead let's keep watching so um i was like all right get out whatever he leaves um he still tried to contact me i was like no get out i grabbed my car i went to my mom's house because i didn't want him to try to come back and to try to convince me and um, that's what brings to like my mind all the time. Like you guys tell people in abusive relationships all the time, like you need to leave, you need to leave, thinking that it's easy for these women to leave. And it's not like, yeah, they've, they've gotten hurt or whatever, but these women are completely head over heels in love with these men. So it's not easy to leave. So I did what I thought was best. So I went to my mom's house right after and he's calling me like dang you're already at somebody else's house you're already cheating on me i was like whatever and on my way to my mom's i start to feel that my car is starting to shake i'm like dang like what is it i took it to two different mechanics that were like it was the spark plugs the ignition coils i fixed that and then i went to another mechanic because it started to shake again and supposedly it was the same thing they fixed that again so i went to a third mechanic and he's like i think they might have put sugar in your gas tank but I would need to take out the gas tank to make sure. And I was like, no, I don't think he would be capable of doing something like that, whatever. So I can find what was wrong with it. At this point, I had moved out already because I was so scared. My mom had let me borrow money because I needed to move out before my lease was up. So he didn't know where I lived. I moved apartments. So at this point, I went and got a new car. I went to the dealership and I got a new car. I changed my car. And when I asked him, hey, did you ever find out what was wrong? With my challenger he said yes there was sugar in the gas tank if you did this this is weird man you gotta learn to let to let go if she no longer want to be with you because of your actions i think you should just let her go you didn't have i don't know if he did do the stuff but if he did he didn't have to do all this extra stuff to make somebody stay with you but what i found weird in this thing is that there's a lot happen in a couple months. Let's keep listening. So this man that claims to be very godly and studies the Bible and, you know, practices this religion, put sugar in my gas tank, tracked my car, put a phone to record me in my car. And I would do things like say everything he needed to hear, like, yeah, I cheated on you. Like, because I was so scared of him being crazy. Like this guy has a record. You guys don't know that. You guys really need to be careful who you make famous on this app. I don't want to say anything else because I feel like I already opened up a big can of worms. I think there is something missing. There's I'm saying there's something missing because she's saying everything that he did. What she's saying might be true, right? But she never mentioned a single thing that she did wrong. There's something, this story is not really adding up. And then why would you move in with somebody that you just started dating for a couple months? She probably lying or she's simply just doing this thing for cloud. And um, comment down below what you think about this. As always, I do appreciate each and, each and every one of you guys for supporting the channel. If you're new here, once again, welcome to the channel. And before you leave, don't forget to show some love to the channel by hitting the like and the sub if you haven't done so already. Hey, listen, I'm out.